Hello everyone, today we're going to read Winnie's Dinosaur Day, written by Valerie Thomas and Corky Paul, published by Oxford University Press. Winnie the witch and her big black cat, Wilbur, loved to visit the museum. It was full of fascinating things. There were bugs and beetles, creepy crawlies and slinky snakes. There were buttons to push, levers to pull and games to play. But best of all was the dinosaur room, Winnie and Wilbur liked to look at the bones and footprints and models. I'd love to see a real dinosaur one day, Winnie always said, and Wilbur always thought, I'm glad I'll never see a real dinosaur. One day, when Winnie and Wilbur were flying home from the library. Winnie looked down and saw a big crowd of people in the museum courtyard. Whatever is happening there? asked Winnie, and she flew down to have a look. There, in the courtyard, was an enormous skeleton. It was Dinosaur Week at the museum, and there was a special competition. Special competition. Draw a picture or make a model to show what the skeleton looked like when it was a dinosaur and win a prize. Winnie loved winning prizes. She looked carefully at the skeleton. It was very, very big with lots of spiky bits. Winnie couldn't decide whether to do a picture or a model and she couldn't decide what the dinosaur might have looked like. It's too hard, Wilbur. Winnie said, but she really wanted to win the prize. Then Winnie had an idea. Jump on my shoulder, Wilbur, said Winnie, and they zoomed up into the sky and back to Winnie's house. Winnie got out her big spells. Yes, she said. She shut her eyes, stamped her foot and shouted, Abracadabra! There was a flash of fire, a great whoosh. And Winnie and Wilbur were back in the time of the dinosaurs. There were dinosaurs everywhere. Big dinosaurs, enormous dinosaurs, gigantic dinosaurs. Winnie and Wilbur hid in a tree. Now, all I have to do is find a dinosaur that looks like the skeleton said Winnie. That should be easy. Meow, said Wilbur. He didn't like the time of the dinosaurs. Winnie looked around carefully. There it is, she shouted. Of course, it's a triceratops. Look at its three horns, Wilbur. Meow, said Wilbur. He didn't want to look. He wanted to go home. 
Winnie got out her drawing book and her colored pencils. It was much easier drawing a real life dinosaur. Her drawing looked exactly like the Triceratops. Well, it looked quite like the Triceratops. This is an excellent drawing, said Winnie. It's sure to win the prize. But now we need to get back to the museum. I know the Triceratops can take us. Meow, said Wilbur. He put his paws over his eyes. Winnie picked him up, jumped onto the dinosaur's back, waved her magic wand and shouted, Abracadabra! And the dinosaur whooshed off to the museum. Professor Perkins was getting ready to present the prize when the dinosaur landed in the courtyard. Everybody was very surprised. Well, said Professor Perkins, I think we all know who has won the competition. And he gave a big shiny medal to the Triceratops. The dinosaur was delighted. He had never won a prize before. Winnie didn't mind too much. Then Winnie and Wilbur took the dinosaur home for tea. The dinosaur didn't like sandwiches or muffins or cakes, but he enjoyed eating Winnie's trees and her roses were delicious. Oh dear, Winnie said, he ate my whole garden. It's a pity he's so big. Wilbur, he's such a nice dinosaur. Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. She waved her magic wand, shouted, Abracadabra! And the enormous dinosaur was a tiny dinosaur. So now Winnie never has to cut her grass and Wilbur has a playmate that is just the right size. And that's the end of story time. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe today to English Lessons Online. Thank you.